So I originally wasn't worried about Black Widow at all. I watched the trailers for the film. I thought it looked great. I thought the trailers looked like fun. It gave me a lot of Winter Soldier vibes. Captain America Winter Soldier, in my opinion, is the best MCU movie. I think that movie is fantastic. Definitely my favorite out of all the movies they put out. And I thought this movie looked somewhat similar. I thought, okay, maybe we can get something like that again. That would be awesome. And Black Widow's usually been a pretty good character. I was looking forward to it. In my opinion, she should have got a movie before Captain Marvel, but that's too late. You know, at least it's finally happening. But now I'm kind of concerned. I don't want to put too much judgment on this, but it's still something to talk about and be a little concerned about. You know, we would have had the answer already if it hadn't been for the coup and the lockdowns and stuff. We would have already seen this movie. The same with Wonder Woman. We would have had that movie as well already, but I don't know when they're going to put this movie out. Maybe soon, now that movie theaters are kind of reopening, but you know Disney wants to make the most amount of money they can from it. Movies aren't making a lot of money right now. I think even Tenet only made like $4 million worldwide. It's pretty low for a Christopher Nolan movie. And it's not, it's, it's not necessarily Tenet's fault. That movie would have been a huge hit if theaters were at full capacity, but... They're like, I, I tried to reserve, I, I wouldn't reserve a seat at a movie theater that was open and they were doing, you know, the, the distancing thing. So automatically when I pick two seats, two seats to either side of me, like automatically are gone. So you can only imagine like how, how many people are allowed to go to a movie theater. Not that many, They're probably run at like 15, 20% capacity. So I'm sure Disney wants to make as much money as possible. So they're probably going to either release this in the Mulan format where you have to pay 20 bucks on, on top of having uh, Disney plus. I, I think that's what they're going to do or they'll release it on video on demand. We'll see what happens. But Scarlett Johansson did an interview with empire and said some pretty concerning things, at least to me, let me go ahead and, and tell you what she read. And the, and the thing is says she moved, she opens up about black widows, feminist uh, undertones. Here's the quote. Uh, Scarlett Johansson confirms that Marvel prequel Black Widow movie is a feminist flick and deals with issues surrounding the Time's Up and the Me Too movements, which fits nicely with Kevin Feige's approach to Phase 4. This is what it gave it the the nickname MCU. Because going by everything that's been reported so far about Phase 4s, it looks like it's going pretty woke. And it just never works. It's going to be boring, political... Nobody wants to watch that. This is why I think DC is going to really take over the comic book landscape. I really do think they're going to. We'll see what happens, though. Maybe we'll all be wrong and Phase 4 will be awesome. I hope hope it is awesome. I love comic book movies. I hope that, you know, they don't shove things in your face and just make these movies good. But I just don't think that that's going to happen. So here's the quote. I think this film in particular is very much reflective of what's going on in regards to the Time's Up and the Me Too movements, Johansson said in the Empire Magazine interview. It would be such a miss if we didn't address that stuff, if this film didn't take that head on. I think particularly for Kate, it was so important for her to make a movie about women who are helping other women who lift up, who lift other women up out of a very difficult situation. Someone asked me if Natasha was a feminist. Of course she is. It's obvious. It's kind of an asinine question so of course if someone's asking if natasha is that they're asking is she a radical blue hair crazy uh traditionally that's not what that was about it was about real equality and stuff like that now it's about all kinds of weirdo crazy stuff that i i really don't want to get into but that's why they were asking if that's where natasha was now if this movie, women helping other women and stuff, is not really that big of a deal. I don't want to get too crazy on this because it could be nothing. And this could just be to get the woke mob over on Twitter excited. It really could. So I don't know. But I do think it's a concern and it is a red flag. And now I'm wondering what is it that I'm going to be watching when this movie releases. Nothing in the trailer indicated any of this stuff. The synopsis doesn't indicate any kind of crazy political stuff. So 
it's a wait and see. But I did want to talk about it, and I did want to let all of you guys know. We'll see what happens. Am I a little concerned? Yes. Am I still going to see the movie? Yes. I'll review it when it comes out. But we'll keep watch. I see uh, all of the usual outlets are praising this right now. Oh, my God. Yes. This is exactly what we needed to know in a Marvel movie. So, And maybe that's all it is, is to get them excited. We'll see. We'll see. But as far as the trailer and the promotional stuff for the movie, it looks good. Hopefully, this is a big nothing and it's just to calm people down. We'll see. For some reason, anytime they do a female movie, they have to throw woke stuff in it. I don't know why they can't just make a good female movie and just make her a badass and make it a good movie that appeals to everybody. It, it really does do a disservice to try to get people into these kind of movies by doing this. Wonder Woman, I think, did a good job of appealing to everybody. I'm hoping that uh, Wonder Woman 84 is the same way. We'll see. Anyway, that's it, guys. Let me know what you think. Are you worried about Black Widow now? What are your thoughts? I'd like to hear from you. Are you not worried about it? You think this is nothing? Let me know in the comments. Also, throw a like up, share the video, make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.